Aconcagua Mountain in Chile, um, which is this, I don't know, I guess a big mountain um, where they have this super rare pepper. I was thinking of climbing the mountain with my friend, shout out Kevin and Leo, so that's why I decided to grow this pepper. Five and a half inches, wow. Just for comparison, got one of my chocolate habaneros here. Look at that. It's supposed to be mild, just this part first here, just the least spicy part of the pepper. I think this is gonna be like a three out of 10, we'll see. Fruity, very bell pepper-like notes and texture. Mm. No real heat at all, but sometimes peppers don't have heat until you get there, so now I'm getting a little more. Hmm. Still no heat, very bell peppery. Um, nothing spectacular, honestly. No heat. Basically no heat, and heat can vary a lot because I grew it in Seattle, so very different than Chile. Maybe it wasn't hot enough, it ripened a little later in the season when it was getting cold. Just like a good bell pepper. I'm gonna save the rest for my hot sauce, so pretty good though. Very clean, simple, mild flavor. Maybe the tiniest hint of spice. Um, so, so subtle. Just kind of like a good bell pepper, but honestly, not as much flavor as some of my more favorite bell peppers. So, honestly, a little bit disappointed with it. Maybe I just had a dud of a pepper because I grew it myself, but Aconcagua, there you go.